good morning students today we will discuss about the continue topics plot the previous class we will see about parts of your plant you know like root stems leaves you know so in this section we will discuss about plot so just you remember one second what are the parts of a plant first you know stem root leaves flower so this is a major parts of your plants so already we will discuss you know uh, what is the root and function of root and stems and leaves everything we taught it you know so today we are going to talk about flower you know in our life we have seen the different colors of flower like yellow or rose or white flower you know we have seen the different colors of flower so the flower is a most attractive parts of the plants we give up the flower is a attractive parts attractive parts of the attractive parts of your plants because we have seen the different colors of flower like yellow color and rose color and white color and pink color or green color flowers so we have seen the variety of plants you know so page number 16 they given the figure the sum part 19 they are given the picture a b and c you know what do you learn about this picture the first one you can see only the stem so there is not fulfill of the plant the next one the plants have the stem and leaves so that is not fulfill that is not attractive and picture c you know you have seen stems leaves and flower or the pink color flower so that flower is a very the attractive you know the flower is a attractive parts of your plants attractive parts of your plants okay so the fact is that all the flowers colorful one kinds of flower is pink color or yellow color or violet color or rose color white color green color flowers also we have seen the different kinds of different colors of flowers in our life okay ma so this is one kind of flower okay see this is one kind of flower you know so definitely which one you like it in your plant the root of but all the parts is very important for plants okay ma don't forget like the root or stems and leaves or flower everything is very important isn't it but the flowers only is naturally have the attractive colors attractive colors okay so the flowers is a attractive parts of your plants the flower is a attractive parts of your plants okay <coughs> and so this is one of the activity okay ma take one buds of your plants so this is a buds okay ma this is a bud but this is the flower so what is the main difference between that bud and flower so this part you know so this part what is the part the petals so petals is open type here the petals is close so that is a different shape between the bud and flower okay and next one that part of your flower the next one 
the cause of your drug. So there are mainly the four parts is that in all the flowers. Okay, ma. The all the flowers having that the four parts of your plants. Okay, ma. The first one, you know, first one is the buds. The first one what? The first one is your sepals. So the sepals means nothing but you will look like in the green colored part, you know. One, two, three, four, five, you know. So this flower having that five sepals. So, so now you see the green colored part, you know. So there is a sepal. So you know, it is a green part. So this is the petals, okay. And next one, this is the sepal. Sorry. So the next one, the petals. The next one what? Petals. The next one what? The petals. So in this flower, you have seen that yellow color petals. Okay, ma. You have seen the yellow color. And third one, stamen. And fourth one, pistil. The fourth one, pistil. So that is your parts of your flower. Okay, ma. So that is very really important. What is the parts of your flower? First one, sepals. And second one, petals. The third one, stamen. The fourth one, pistil. Are you understood? So in this flower, you okay, are in this flowers having that green color sepals. You okay, are in this flower having that green color sepals, and this flower having that yellow color petals. Yellow color petals. And stem and pistil is a very important part of your plants. You okay, are so that all the parts is very important. You okay, are the particularly the stem and And this thing is a very important part of your plants. Okay, ma'am. Why the stem and this thing is a very important part of your plant means nothing but okay, ma'am. So the stem, you know, the stem is a main reproductive part of your plant. Okay, ma'am. The stem is a main reproductive part of your main reproductive part of your Parts of your plant. Okay, the stem is here. Now, did you find out the stem and pistil? Now you can't find out. When you are open that petal and sepal, so then only we can find out that stem and pistil. Okay, what? Then only we will find out that stem and pistil. And pistil is a female reproductive part of the plant. Female. Reproductive parts of your plant. Okay, ma. So that is your male reproductive parts and then the female reproductive parts. Okay, ma. Male and the female reproductive parts. So that is very really important. Parts just you remember parts of your plant is the surface. Okay, ma. So This is a sepal. So, okay, ma. This is a green color part, you know. So, this is a green color part is known as called the sepal. Okay. And this yellow color part, okay, ma. So, this yellow color parts is known as called the petals. Okay, ma. And the flowers have the stamens and pistils also, but you can't see. You know, when you are seeing. When we are open that, you know, when we are open that petals, you know, when we are open that petals, okay, ma. So this is, you know, so this part is known as called the stamen. This part, okay, ma. This part is known as called what? Stamen. Okay. So these stamens have the main two parts, okay, ma. These stamens having that main that two parts. 
okay va so what are the two words one is the answer one is the answer next one is the plumber so this statement is a male dependent to cause you know the this is very important so the statement is a male dependent to cause of a plant and still is a female dependent to cause of a plant the statements also have the male to cause and under and plumber under and plumber so this is a statement the inside the statement we give the inside the statements also have the under and plumber okay one under and plumber okay one under and plumber so that actually the under is a yellow color the under is a yellow color okay wow like the four and you know so this form only okay wow so this is the four and this is the four and four okay wow so the actually the under is a yellow color Okay, ma. And next one, the pistil. You know, the next one is here pistil. So this part. Okay, ma. So this part. Okay, ma. So this part is known as the pistil. The pistil is here female reproductive part. The pistil is here the female reproductive part of the plant. So the pistil is also having the three major parts. Okay, ma. Three major parts. Okay, ma. One is the sigma and cell and ovary and cell and ovary. Okay, ma. So that was pistil is also having the three main parts. One is the sigma and second one cell and third one ovary. Third one ovary. So that is everything is very important. Okay, ma. Like the sepals or petals, the stamens or pistil. Okay, ma. Like the two main parts of the stamen, one is the anther and the plumen. You know the pollen. You know. So this pollen, so this anther is actually the yellow color. Okay, this is actually the yellow color. And the pistils. Okay, wow. So inside the pistils, you know, the inside the pistils having some parts. One is the stigma and cell and ovary. Stay like. Okay, ma. So this is a major parts of your flower. This is a major parts of your flower. Okay, ma. And the table the three point seven. You know, observe one flower. Now take from the those plant just to find out that flowers have how many petals having or how many petals are jointed or not. Okay, ma. And stamens are jointed or freely. Okay, ma. So here also ask me some questions. The how many sepals does it have, and then all they are joined together or not, and what are the colors of petals and the sepals? What are the colors? So we have seen that different colors of petals in our life. All the joints of one another or they are all separate. The petals are separate, the joint or separate. Do the flowers with joint and sepals have petals or separate or they are joined together? So the petals or sepals are jointed or separate. Okay, well, so this is one of the activity. Okay, well, and the next one to see the inner parts of the flower. I told you know we have seen the inner parts of your flower. Okay, well, we have seen the inner parts of your flower. So. What do you see in the inner parts of the flower? Definitely, we have seen. You know, definitely, we have seen like the stem and pistil only. We have seen stem and pistil only. Okay, wow. So remove the sepals and petals. Already remove the petals and sepals, and rest of the parts is known as stem and. Okay, wow. Stamen. And the figure the seven point twenty one and seven point twenty two and seven point twenty three. You know the seven point one is a bell shaped flower. It's one kind of flower. And figure the seven point twenty two is a four softer flower like the stamen and pistil. You know the stamen is a male reproductive part and pistil is a female reproductive part. Pistil is a female. 
repeated your parts okay ma wow. and next one in the different floor you have recognized the both parts of the stem and tendon floor okay ma wow. so the stem and pistil is a very important parts of your floor because me why you are saying it very important means the reproductive okay was stem and is a male reproductive parts and female uh, pistil is a female reproductive parts okay ma wow. and the how many stamens are there in your flower so the how many stamens also you have seen in the flower we have seen that i have seen that five stamen i have seen that five stamen in inside the petals or sepals okay and the inner most part of the flower is known as called that pistil okay va wow. the inner most part of a flower okay va wow. the inner most okay va the inner most parts of a flower is known as called pistil but you can't see you know when you are open that stamen you know when you are open the stamen so generally we can see the pistil so this is a very important homework question so pistil means nothing but the innermost parts of your flower the innermost parts of your flower is known as called what is known as called pistil okay ma wow. the innermost parts is known as called the pistil if you cannot see completely okay ma wow. you cannot so for this is the buds so we have seen that like the petals and sepals only but we can't see that stamens and pistil you know where it present when we are open that pistil and sal when we are open that petals and sepals so generally we will find out that stamens and pistil okay wow. so the pistil means nothing but the innermost part of your flower is known as called pistil okay wow. but you can't see but you cannot see completely so when we are open that stamen so generally we can find out that pistil okay wow. and remove the remaining stamens identify the parts of pistil with the help of the figure the sound point of the four so when you are open the pistil you give up when you are open the pistil definitely we have seen the three parts definitely we have seen the three parts one is stigma or is the one part of the pistil stigma and second one stay second one stay and third one ovary third one what ovary so this is the main part of your pistil so in this section we will discuss about the parts of your flower okay so the next class we will discuss about that ovary okay ma where will present the ovary